Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I want to, uh, it's such an honor to be here. I want to thank everyone from the National Whistleblower Center for inviting me to join you in showing my appreciation for whistleblowers. You know, I just want to uh, follow up on something that Senator Wyden said. Speaking truth to power, I know a little something about that of late. It's not easy, but it's so necessary. And when you do it, you should have the protection that you need. I was a prosecutor before I came here. I actually had a life before I came here, although it seems like I've been here forever. It's only been three short years. I was a prosecutor for 20 years, and I served as the district attorney in my home county of Nassau County in New York uh, until I was elected to Congress in 2004. Oh, someone from Long Island, all right, yeah. Uh, I was in that position until I came here in 2014. Now, anyone who has worked in law enforcement knows that whistleblowers can be critical resources in criminal investigations. There are certain types of criminal activity that might be impossible to prove or that you might not ever know about unless someone with direct knowledge steps forward, often risking their job and their safety in the process. Now, during my time in Congress, I've also seen firsthand what a valuable role whistleblowers play in our efforts to conduct oversight and reform government agencies. That's part of our job as Congress people particularly through my experience on the Veterans Affairs Committee. That, uh, any, as anyone, you can ask anyone on that committee from either party, again, not a partisan issue. And I think most would agree that one of our biggest long-term priorities is to reform the culture within the VA, and that's not an easy thing to do when they have a well-established history of punishing and silencing whistleblowers. Whistleblowers not only help reform and improve our government, but they also help us fulfill our responsibility as a leader on the world stage, providing information that helps the U.S. combat corruption, abuse of power, and transnational crimes. And in addition to strengthening whistleblower protections under the law, I think there's a lot of potential to improve the way we incentivize whistleblowers to come forward with information about crimes that are often difficult to detect, including wildlife trafficking. Stephen Cohn, the executive director of the National Whistleblower, Whistleblower Center, has done a really excellent work on this subject, and I appreciate that because it's an issue that I care a great deal about. Wildlife trafficking is a multi-billion dollar industry that is leaving precious species on the verge of extinction and it fuels other dangerous criminal activities around the world, and it's very difficult to combat without the help of people on the inside with direct knowledge of the crimes. Now, we can do a lot more to incentivize whistleblowers to step forward by offering rewards, and as Mr. Cohen has written, the act to prevent pollution from ships. Everything has a, um, what do you call it, um, acronym? Uh, is it an acronym? Yeah. <laughs> can't stand them. My office is an acronym free zone. But the act to, this is a good one, the act to prevent pollution from ships, APPS, offers a useful blueprint for how we could use whistleblower reward laws to ramp up our efforts to combat wildlife trafficking. By offering financial rewards, we create a powerful incentive for more of these people to step forward and provide the information we need to detect and punish the criminal networks that perpetrate and profit from these crimes. So I'm going to make it a priority to talk with my fellow caucus co-chairs and our colleagues across the aisle because I have to say the good news is that there is pretty universal agreement that we have to do more to protect whistleblowers. Um, so I'm going to reach across the aisle, speak to colleagues on both sides of the aisle, I should say, about how we can learn from and act on the work that NWC is doing and take advantage of whistleblower reward laws so that we have the tools we need to be more effective in this fight. Again, I want to thank you all for inviting me um, to join you here today. I look forward to continue working with all of you to protect and empower the whistleblowers who risk so much to help make our government and our world a better place. Thank you very much.